Hello, uh, good evening, everyone. We're back again here. Yeah? We're still celebrating the Women History Month, which is the month of November. And also, this is the month whereby, you know, there's so many dates in this month that women have been celebrated. So we have the 8th of March, which is the International Women's Day. With uh, In Ireland, we celebrate Modern Day, uh, which is the Mother's Day is on the 10th of this month as well. So there's so many things that is happening in the month of March uh, all over the Western world to celebrate women and some all around the world. So we are back again. My name is Susanna Kamalafe and I'm the CEO of the Afro Dance World Center. And today I have with me another guest, a, a woman that we've been you know, coming together to have conversation around the women is three months and the conversation is around the different things that you know uh women are doing in the community and businesses community engagement politics um self-care different type of things we've been talking about we've talked about uh different topics so today we're just going to talk about what um talk about inspiring inclusion when it comes to women how do we inspire women in our community, in our schools, in our towns, in our homes, within the family, um, in our network. How do we inspire women? How do we become inclusive in what we do? How do we include women in every aspect of the things we are doing? You know, women are really vital uh, part of the community. They play a vital role in the foundation of the home. So they need just inspiration. They need to be inclusive in everything we do. Uh, we need to engage them more. Uh, so before I bring in uh, Shane to, you know, to join me in this conversation uh, this evening, um, one of the things that I would like us to take away is that as women, let us become a role model for other women in our community. Let's become a role model for our daughters, our sisters, our friends a lot of ladies out there let us become a role model to them by inspiring them to be better let us do things that gives us reason to give examples you know be an example a good example to a lot of women around us being a role model a good one a positive one the one that inspires other women the one that is very supportive of other women the ones that is inclusive of all other women the ones that acknowledge women around them so it is important that has a role model in the community in the schools wherever you are as a woman be a point of role model to other women around you so i'm going to welcome into this conversation grace uh, Shame Grace um, Atiroko, at if I'm pronouncing that name right, I keep wanting to try to pronounce it well, Atiroko. Um, so she's going to join me in this conversation. We've been having conversation together since the beginning of this month around the Women is Stream month. Um, she will tell you a little bit more about herself. She's an independent candidate uh, going for an election in the month of June, which is 7th of June, we have the local election coming up. Asal and myself were running as a local independent candidate in our respective counties. I'm running in Cavan, she's running in Dundalk, South Dundalk. So she's going to tell you a little bit about that. So in case you have a friend that lives in Dundalk, uh, you can see the face, you can put a face to it. And if you have people that you know that lives in Cavan as well, you can tell them that the Queen of Cavern, which is myself, Susanna Kamalafe, I'm a candidate for the independent uh, representative here locally. So Shane, you're welcome this evening. Yeah, thank you for having me. We're talking about inspiring inclusion. We're talking about inspiring great women like yourself. We're tr talking about inspiring young women, older women, young girls you know you are a mother yourself a mother uh to a male and female inspiring your girls to be better and to be back the best part of the community in whatever they do 
in their schools they should become a role model in their schools you know i know your daughter is involved in sports to become a role model in whatever they do so tell us what what is your own take on this conversation about inspiring inclusion inspiring women not just women uh in our community but african women all over the world as well okay thank you very much for having me Susanna. Um, as she introduced me, my name is Sean Grace Atiroko and I live in Dundalk. So, and I will be running for the next election as an independent candidate for Dundalk South. So if you live in Dundalk, please support me. And if you're not registered to vote, please use check the register.ie to register. So in back to our conversation in terms of inspiring women and the month theme is inspiring inclusion. So how do we inspire women in our communities? How do we inspire women all over the world to be great? Personally, I believe women are strong. We have powers. We have lots of resilience. We, we gifted in so many aspects. And in terms of inspiring women, we already inspire ourselves, but there are lots of other ways we can be inspired in terms of tapping into our skills, into our knowledge and also gaining more knowledge, training, skills in different aspects. I'll give an example. If you are very good at cooking and you have passion for cooking, baking, you can think of going to school to learn more about culinary, culinary skills. And you can take it further if you, if you to develop your passion more. And you can take it to a more professional level in becoming a chef. Or maybe if you're good at sewing, you can go to a professional fashion school to develop your skill in a more diverse way and to adapt to wherever um, culture or country you have to gain more skills. And if you're good at learning and if you have passion to be maybe you're good at teaching, you want to be a teacher or you're good at so many other things or if you're good at um, um, presenting like Madame Kamala Fair or you want to be on TV like she was on TV. You can tap into those skills you have. Look at, look for opportunities and tap into them and use it for yourself. However, we can be inspired in other aspects, not only in education, in terms of training, in terms of even supporting our children, in terms of celebrating each other and supporting each other. By the time we celebrate another person, we can feel inspired to want to do more and the person will feel inspired to want to do greater things as well. We can also inspire women in terms of we talk about digital space a lot in the past few weeks. I spoke about it with Madam Susanna. So we can look at tapping into our skills in the digital space. If you have, if you do different businesses, you can tap into those skills. If you are not good at the digital space, you can learn about it. And the knowledge we gain is actually empowering ourselves. And when you empower yourself, what you know will help you have a voice in that area. And the voice you have in spaces can never be taken away from you once you use it in the right way. Because your voice, our voice, is our power. So you, we have to, first of all, tap into our values, our skills, our inner, inner strengths, and which we are very strong. Everybody is good in different ways. We all have abilities, strengths, and we are all beautiful. So we look at what we are more passionate about and if you want to do it in a more in-depth way from my, from my marketing experience, you can do a SWOT analysis on yourself. SWOT analysis means you, the S is for strength, the W is for weakness, the O is for opportunities, and T is for strength. It's for threat. So the S, you look at your strength. What are you really, really, really good at that you're strong about that even when they wake you up from sleep, you can talk about it or do it anytime, any day. You can tap into that. Not that you ignore your weakness, but you're not going to focus on it. And look for opportunities around those areas. And what are the things that are threatening you from achieving those things you're supposed to achieve? So you look for ways to turn the threat, not actually turning it fully to opportunities for ways that the threats will not affect you. And you focus more on your strength, building your strength, building it more because your strength is your power. And from your strength, from tapping into your strength, tapping into the values you have, tapping into what you're good at, 
and building yourself up in those areas. What you build, what you own, no one can take it away from you. It will help you build your knowledge and the knowledge we gain will help us to help ourselves and help those around us and also help our community. We're talking about building a thriving future for our community, building, being a role model for our children, being a role model for the people in our community, for the young girls, for the adults as well. So we can all do this, we can do this in different ways, but first tapping into our strength and building ourselves. We are strong, we are resilient, and there are so many things that might want to discourage us or bring us down, but we shouldn't look at those negative things. We should be focused on the positive aspect. Not ignoring the ne negative aspect, but really, really focusing on your strength because it's what you're good at that will help you go to the next step. For example, if you are a young girl and you're a student and you're studying, you should focus on your strength in terms of your academics, make plans, and inspire, have plans, the plans you have, set targets, set achievable, measurable goals that you can achieve that will help you reach those goals, the main goals you've set of where you're going. You can even do a visual art board that you paste in your room and you speak positive affirmations to yourself to help you work towards achieving those goals. And we can look at it in different aspects. I just try to focus, this is how my spirit is leading me to talk about it, to focus on our strengths, on tapping into our values, on tapping into our goals, our set targets, and building ourselves, building our strengths, and not giving up. Not giving up and not giving in to rejections. Rejections will come at different stages. People may not be who you expect them to be at different stages in life. Life might happen in, at different stages, but the power we have as women to keep going for yeah, yeah, the, as women, um, yeah. Sorry, um, those powers we have as women. Um, when you were talking about the powers we have, I wanted us to just quickly dive it into uh, one or two conversations around how we inspired women. So let's say, for example, we know this. Uh, th there's some there's some issues uh, in our community. Um, that it's happening and which we are laying uh we're trying to you know give give a voice to so let's say for example we want to give a voice to um early marriages there's so many young women today mm -hmm. um young girls um that are being forced into early marriages uh, uh within the community and i was listening to something on facebook uh, there's a program going on in the UN right now. And uh, this lady is a representative from UK going there to represent UK. And the purpose of going there is to talk about early marriages. Young girls are being exploited, sexually exploited in so many ways in our community. Those ones that are not exploited, they are taken into early marriages, uh, into early marriages. What is your take on early marriage? And then... Um, the female genital manipulation. This is something that in Ireland today has been has become illegal. So anybody that does that now in Ireland today might could go to prison because it is it's become uh, a crime uh, to do that. But yourself and myself are aware that these are things that is still happening in Africa all around us. How do we give voice to mothers to empower them? so that they can, you know, to, so that they will be able to speak out on those two issues. Okay, um, thank you very much. So in terms of empowering ourselves, like I said, I led to uh, Madam Susanna talking about early marriages and FGM. We were actually discussing that before the show. So in terms of empowering ourselves, it's important to create awareness around those issues. Sometimes ignorance can be we call it ignorance is a disease and sometimes lack of information can be an issue for some people. So maybe because some parents are not aware or some are aware that it is wrong and it is breach of human rights and they still do it anyway. Child, early child marriages is a very bad thing. Children should be given opportunity to be children, to grow up and become responsible adults to make, be able to make their own choices and decision on what they want to do. And in terms of the F, uh, female genital mutilation, it's something that 
we're actually talking about we did a program on it um on tuesday it's a very very bad thing to do that for a young girl as well however it's not only done for young girls from some people that have shared their experiences with me i know they do it in some parts for women when they are pregnant that's when they do it which is very very bad it's very dangerous it can be deadly and it's something that we as individuals as women have the owners to create awareness around it to talk about the dangers and the implications it has on women or children that the uh, that FGM is done for, that the female genital mutilation is done on, or whether the children that are given out to be married early, which these things happen in still happen in some parts, in different parts, which is not a good thing, is actually very traumatic for those that experience it and can be a very painful experience for some people. It's not a good thing. There was a story that was shared with us in terms of so a family doing um, the FGM for their child here in Ireland. And at the end of the day, the child nearly bled to death. May I don't know if the, I think the parents are actually aware what they are doing is wrong because they didn't give the full information even when they got to the hospital. Mm. However, it is something that is very bad to be done. And I know Maybe some parents are not aware that it is not bad because it is a cultural thing. It's something that is in-depth in terms of the cultural beliefs, which it would be very difficult to actually tell someone what you believe is not the right thing to believe. You can't tell someone to make those choices, but you can advise and suggest and make people see in terms of the awareness to see the dangers it poses on children, on the individual, and to show them how they can help the child in a positive way instead of doing that the way they can go about things instead of doing the fgm or instead of giving their child out early to encourage them to allow young children to be educated to be great women in life to become who they choose to be and to also encourage equity in terms of women in terms of young girls yeah and to encourage the young children to have their voice heard if their parents are able to be their voice is good if not to make sure that the voices of the children are heard. So it's not only the parent that needs to be educated, even the children in schools needs to be educated about some of about these things. To know it is wrong for a child to be given out in marriage early, to know female genital mutilation is something that is wrong, is violation of human rights, and it is the person can is can will be liable to be sued by law or be arrested yeah. if you mm. if you are found doing that in Ireland. So I, I guess what we're saying is that there should be more education around these issues women should be well educated about it um yeah. and then when you educate them they educate their own children as well with regards to this um yeah it it it, it is it is good to come together and, and have this conversation um because we're celebrating the women history month this month of march we've celebrate we're, ce we're still celebrating the international women's day which was on the 8th of march there's still a lot of organization all around the county all around the country doing different events to celebrate the international women's day so for us in our own organization this saturday which is 16th of uh, March, we are going to celebrate uh, the International Women's Day at the Carbon Crystal Hotel. So if you are living in Carbon, join us at the Carbon Crystal Hotel, 6 p.m. If you are living outside Carbon, whatever county you are living, but you're living in Ireland, you can come and join us on the 16th of March at the Carbon Crystal Hotel. Um, on our websites, on our uh, Facebook pages, uh, you see the details of the event. You can inbox us to see if you want to know more about what is going to happen at the event. There's going to be fashion show, uh, showcasing fashion. Women loves fashion. So when you do anything women, you just have to, you know, go there. There will be photo shoot for a lot of women. If you're interested in taking part in the photo shoot, come and join us. This is an opportunity for you and your family uh, to actually have an opportunity to take the photo shoot on the day. It's all about celebrating, celebration of women. Uh, celebrating family. So that is what the day is about. Um, we're going to have speakers. Um, Shane Grace, Ati Roko is one of our guest speaker for the panel on the day, whereby we're going to be having conversation around issues that affect women. 
uh, both presently and in the future? What are those things that emulate in, in, in uh, women into the present day and uh, uh, future in terms of technology, in terms mm -hmm. of inspiration, in terms of educating and empowering women in the different fields that we have today? So we really want to say thank you for joining us this evening, for joining myself and uh, Grace this evening to as part of our celebration for the Women History Month. We really want to say thank you to those of you that has been joining us live. If you have any question, please drop it. If you want to know a little bit more about the female genital multiplication, yeah, um, just put your questions motivation uh just put your question really really right straight into the comment space if you want to know about girl trafficking and you want us to talk a little bit more about girl trafficking you know uh young girls being sexually abused in different community uh today just to give a shout out again today um over 200 young uh students are taken into in nigeria or stage uh and they're demanding ransom from the country. But we want to use this opportunity uh, just to give a shout out and to, to the parents and the family that are going through distress at this point in time, uh, because we know how that could be as mothers, uh, what the pain of, of losing a child or even not knowing what is happening to your child. Uh, so we're using this opportunity to give a shout out to all of, people there in in nigeria and the people going through the pain as well so uh, we, we thank you all for joining us we, we we're going to continue bringing you this conversation throughout the eight months so if any of women there is interested in joining us in the conversation you can either reach out to grace shame or you can reach out to myself like we said again shame is uh, an independent candidate representing women in dundok south dundok Myself, I'm also an independent candidate in carbon representing carbon women, representing women within the community. We've been talking about giving the women a chance. So this is an opportunity for you to go out there and give us a chance by voting. You know, if you're not registered to vote, there's still a lot of time for you to go and register. Go on check register.ie, go and register yourself online. Less than five minutes, everything is done. You just get it done online within five minutes. So um on my own side i'm going to say goodbye and i'm going to leave everything now to um share to which is a goodbye and just to give us the last word for the evening for women out there that um are wondering how do i get inspired how do i get empowered how do i get you know how do i make a difference in the community how do i become a role model in my community in my home within my work environment, in the community, where is it that you are? Where do you, where do you walk? Where do you go? Where do you network? Who are the people you engage with? How do you become a role model? How do you inspire? How do you empower? And how do you get, uh, uh, get to do this? Um, and Sharon will tell us more, or now you can educate yourself in different field, in ITs, in so many things. Uh, she closed the evening for us. So thank you, um, my lady. I'll pass it on to you, lady. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Susanna. So hello, everyone listening to us at home, wherever you are. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed the show. And I hope you keep enjoying the other shows we'll be bringing to you. And we hope to see you on the 16th of March to celebrate women for the International Women's Day and the Women History Month celebration. So in terms of inspiring women, how do we inspire women from what we've been saying, empowering ourselves, in terms of empowering ourselves, educating ourselves, tapping into our strengths, our values, and also owning our, our strengths, owning our voices, and inspiring other people around us in different ways and in different aspects. And if we own businesses, we should empower ourselves, we should educate ourselves, we should seek for help in terms of putting our businesses in the digital space to help boost awareness about our business, to help um, promote our business more and also help generate more income for ourselves. And in terms of the education for the young girls to inspire themselves in terms of reaching the goals and the target they've set for themselves and working towards that goal, not just setting the target, but actually working towards it in a smart way, making sure it's measurable, attainable, achievable. 
you can look out for what the word um, SMART um, uh, means. So you can follow the SMART objective guidelines in terms of that. So we can they can make it in that way. And also in terms of tapping into our strength, it's very important to be safe out there for those, for the children, for the mothers to, uh, to know, um, gain knowledge about FGM, female genocide mutilation, and to know that giving a child out for marriage at an early age, it is very, very wrong. And to also promote the strength and the rights of the children to ensure that the voices of the children are heard. It's not only the parent's um, job to promote the voices of the child or the rights of the child. Even the community is responsible for that, to look out for ourselves and ensure a safe community, a safe space for ourselves, for our young children, and to make it in a way that they are looking up to us, especially for mothers, they can see if they, they can see us as role models, as good examples. In the space you are, how are you representing yourself? How are you representing your community? How is your voice used to represent women? Not only women from the migrant center, but if you are in Ireland representing Irish women or representing the children, representing families with additional needs, representing even the men. I know this is women history month, but the men also are important to be looked out for. Yeah, because men so, our men is our ally, so we have to. <laughs> yes, and representing families as well, and yeah. educating yourself in various aspects. The education you have, the knowledge you have, is actually your power, is what you can use to help people. I hope we have been able to help in different ways, and you've been able to learn one thing or the other, because I learned something myself. And I wish everyone a happy day, happy night, and see you on the sustains. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I'm, as well. I'm trying to shake my raise my hand to say bye to everyone that's watching us. <laughs> I hope they can see that. So thank you so much. It's really fun uh, to be here this evening. Um, it's uh, it's it's it was raining this afternoon. Am I right? Was it, it raining in the dark? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was raining it was. in the dark. Yeah, because it was actually yeah. raining here in Cavan, um, and it's quite cold as well yeah it's, it's a little bit cold anyway see everyone bye bye have everyone a you have a lovely evening